Yo, what is up guys, and in this video I will be teaching you how to optimize your PC for better performance. I have an AMD chip but or AMD GPU, but any GPU works for this NVIDIA, AMD, and all of that good stuff. So if you guys enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. It helps out my channel so so much and it's for free. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first step you want to do is get any client you can I'm using Lunar right now um, you can use Badline client feather client any of those other ones even like other clients such as Labymod or forge like those things okay so as you can see we have 144 or 145 FPS in the top right hand corner and we're going to change that really quick with these optimizations okay so we're going to go into you're gonna press escape and go into your game menu. Now you can go into options and then you can go into video settings. This is where all of the FPS boosting um, and optimization settings are. And so once we're here, you usually when you get Minecraft or you have Minecraft, it's on max frame rate VSync. And what VSync does, as you can see if we hover over it, it says VSync is limited to the monitor frame rate. But we're going to change that. And so you can change it to however much FPS you want, but if you want the most FPS, I recommend changing it all the way to unlimited. And then the next thing you want to do is, you see this use FOB right here? It's a buffer object which helps rendering and it does it, it and it helps improve the FPS, so you want to turn that on as well. It's all pretty good right here, so we'll go into performance now, and we want this fast render on. Fast render basically just makes the optimi it optimizes rendering, so it makes it a little like it takes less time to render because it's not taking like a super fancy job of it. And then we go to this lazy chunk loading. It's usually off, but it lazy the lazy chunk loading it helps it makes chunks load slower, so that's super nice to have on. We want this chunk update to be on one for the highest FPS. As you can see, if you hover over it, you can see what it says and yeah this is all in the performance settings and that's pretty good right here and then you can go into animations if you really want to and all of these right here are you can turn on and off but I just have mine on decreased right now so it's not as much as the normal one but I still do have particles which is super nice one thing to note is that fast render does not work with motion blur or shaders so make sure to turn off motion blur or any shaders you have on at the moment because it does not work with those okay now if we can go into our if we go into our lunar settings you can do lunar bad line either one we can go right here and we can go into the performance um it's called better frames for bad line and it's just called performance i think for feather i have the lazy chunk loading in here on the lowest as well to max the fps and then yeah i have the medium medium for these because i don't want them any lower right now you can choose lowest but you won't be able to see your enemies as far away and so yeah those are the optimizations and now as you can see we're running 2500 fps or 400 fps and i'm also using a different pack as well like it's a little more minimalistic it's actually one of my packs that i'm making for my 500 subscriber packs is called corrupt and so yeah if you want to see this pack then make sure to subscribe and get me to 500 because that'll help a lot to see this pack released as you can see it's all minimalistic so it actually has really good, um, it helps with the FPS so then it doesn't have to load as much like pixels or and that stuff, which is super nice. Choose minimal skies and that'll help a lot for when you're wanting to have the most FPS. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get um, into some games and yeah, I'll talk about some more stuff in there. Okay, so now I'm in Mindman Club, also known as Mindman.club for the IP. And yeah, I'll just play a couple games, or like just, yeah, just play a couple games. And... Okay, so what, um, these optimizations in the Minecraft settings, you can do on regular Minecraft launcher. But if you're not on the regular Minecraft launcher, then it doesn't have the extra settings, if you know what I mean. And what all of these optimization things have is that they are, um, like all these clients have optimizations. And yeah, it really helps out a lot with like, 
managing the CPU and GPU to not overload as much, which is super nice. And uh, yeah, you should use any of those clients, even like smaller clients, like Sheetbreaker or something like that. Smaller clients, they still work as well because they... And yeah, the reason why I don't use the motion blur like in-game is it may look good, but you can always add motion blur to your videos after. And it just takes up a ton of FPS, like if you're, if you're not recording, it just kind of sucks. But yeah, you can always add motion blur later. And then fast run, and then like shaders. You can do that to make your game look better if you want, like if you're like a bigger YouTuber or like or you want to be like a super big YouTuber, I would, it's like really good to have those types of settings because it really helps like make your game look better. Okay, okay, we got him, we got him. What, what do you guys want me to do like in these um in my next videos since i have a new pc and i can do more recordings and stuff oh gosh oh there we go do you want more mouse reviews do you want like that cooler mm731 review which i probably should make anyways but yeah do you guys want like more client reviews since i can do more now or do you want like just like bed wars gameplay or like pvp Oh my gosh, insane combo. Optimizations equal better. These combos are insane because of the optimizations, guys. And so yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little shorter. I'm trying to make them shorter so then the algorithm is a little better. But yeah. Guys, join the Discord if you want a little more tips, and I'll always be there, and I'll always be able to answer your questions. And yeah, once you get to level 3 in my Discord as well, you get exclusive self-promo channels, which is super nice. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.